Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flickin' Feathers again today, and I'm tying another Flats Fly. It's a good kind of generic pattern. The Absolute Flea. Works for Bonefish. I know it works for Permit and other species. Tie them different colours and all that to suit where you're fishing, different weights. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who would like to support the channel uh, and get access to the members only content along with being entered into the monthly giveaways so I've got my hook my vice this is an SL11 3H uh, size 6 you can tie them up to a 2 if you want, I'm lashing on some dumbbell eyes. These are these double pupil eyes for hairline. I quite like them. Just make sure everything's square. I mean, they'll they're already locked in, but. I always like to stick a wee bit of super glue in there. I'll even come onto the thread wraps a bit. Run my thread down along the shank and back up, and then I'm going to batter some wraps over these again. And that really secures it, right? That extra sort of Anchoring a thread on the shank does make a big difference to the durability of your um, flats flies with the the eye the the, the dumbbell eyes. <coughs> Excuse me. You know they don't just twist after a fish has crushed the fly. You can get a few fish at it. Now got some tiny wee butt here of fluorescent chenille. You can use. You don't need to use fluorescent, you can use dubbing, up to you. You could use tan or something, or in this case white, if you didn't want the hot spot. Cut the wraps. Tidy up. Now the claws, I've got two pairs of grizzly hackle tips. So four, four in total. Just line them up. And I want them shank length. at the back. That's nice. Same on the other side. Just make sure they're aligned. Catch them in. A couple of loose wraps on that second one, make sure it's the same length. Tie it up. Right, now you can see they're splayed so that they'll kick and spring on the retrieve. Clean everything up again. I'm going to come in and get a Let's have a bit Another grizzly hackle, bigger. This time, that one's not bad. Keeps. And I'm going to tie it in as far down the stem as I can. 
um, to get some of this softer fibre at the, at, and still have a wrappable stem. I mean, this is a white and cape, but this uh, big stuff on the American, white and American necks, even though they're high quality capes, the, the stems, when they're really thick, they, uh, they can break on you. So I'm just going to fold this back as I wind it. Good few turns. Come back, catch that, and then I'm going to just hold everything. And I actually got to tie back over it a wee bit. Force those fibres just backwards a bit. Then I'll come in with my scissors. And trim nice and tight, close to where the butt is. Trim away my waist. Right, and that's the back of the fly. Now, the original absolute flea used um, Orvis leech yarn, as far as I know, but I prefer dubbing. Um, and this is the EP shrimp dub. I think this is really nice. It's got a nice translucence. Uh, it's a very subtle sparkle in it. It's great for flat flies. I mean, it's so little flash. It's really nice. Now, I want quite a chunky wee body, so I'm going to start and dub back from the eye to my hackle. Then I'll come back over it with just a sparse rope. I always like to put plenty of dubbing on because I, I do brush it. Um, I always brush my dubbing. Just to get that sort of halo effect. Make it nice and shaggy. Uh, I think it really makes a difference. Just come in through these eyes with a couple of figure eights of dubbing. Get my trusty Velcro brush. Get a wee rough up. I'll do it. And then it's ready for the weed guard. Obviously, this is optional, depends on you. I like them. Especially for like coral and stuff. Uh, so. Salute. A 20 pound hard nylon. Figure eight over it a couple of times. Make sure everything's as it should be, and then we'll turn that back up. Trim that off, then I'll just finish the nose with a bit more dubbing, just to tidy everything up. Bit more. Just to get the shape I want. There we go. Quick finish. We had and there you go. 
That's the absolute flea. Very, very effective flash pattern. Easy tied as well. Uh, well worth sticking some in your box for bonefish and other species. So, hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel. Take lines, guys. Bye.